Hi, I'm Dr. Mims, and this is a video instructing you on how to upload videos to YouTube for your classroom experience. Just as a bit of background so that you know, Blackboard has a very limited capacity for video files. So therefore, it has been requested that faculty upload their videos, be it a lesson, be it a demonstration, be it a lecture, onto YouTube so that they can better share with their students. Now, in addition to the Blackboard memory problem, there is also the bandwidth issue. YouTube has optimized their bandwidth capabilities so that people who have, for instance, a limited data plan or a set pay by, pay for minutes or data plans can actually use YouTube via Wi-Fi or via their phone much, much easier. And they do that by limiting the video quality of the video, but there are also other issues that they work on behind the scenes. So the short version is go ahead and plan to record any lectures or demonstrations or lessons that you'll be doing in class and make sure those are accessible to your students because some of your students may not be able to come on campus and you yourself may choose not to come on campus. That is perfectly understandable. So this will be a great way to be able to demonstrate your knowledge and capabilities with technology. All right, now I will first show you the video and I'll talk just very briefly about the choices that I've made in the video. So I'm gonna share my screen. And share. Okay, so we have the video. I'll play it for you right quick. Hi, this video is just a demonstration on what a video will look like when you are recording. Thank you very much. All right, a couple things I want to point out. First of all, if you'll notice above my head, I have a little bit of headroom. Below my shoulders, I have a little bit of room. This is called a bust shot, named after the artistic marble bus that you would have. Um, I'm not as close to the camera as I could be. Uh, this is to present as if uh, you and I were having a conversation. So that's why I chose this particular image. What I want you to do is choose how close you want to be to the camera, how comfortable you are being close to the camera. But I do recommend that you at least make your face and your lips and your expressions highly visible because that is an effective form of communication between you and the student. All right, I'm going to stop sharing right quick so I can transition over to YouTube. Now, I'm going to be showing you my YouTube channel. If you're unfamiliar with YouTube or how to set up a YouTube channel, it's very, very easy. All you have to do is go to youtube.com and they will be able to walk you through the steps of setting up a channel. If you have a Gmail account, it's actually much easier because Google owns both Gmail and YouTube. So they can, you can also set up your account using your Gmail. All right, and share. Okay, here is my channel. Now, you'll notice that I have uh, a variety of videos. This is my pinned video. I'm not gonna get into the weeds of YouTube, but the important part is that I am able to access YouTube. I am able to upload videos to a singular site and students are able to find my videos. So I'm going to click on the right-hand side here. There is a little camera with a plus sign. And I'm going to click that. It'll be create a video or post. And then I have a little drop-down menu. I will be doing upload video, though you can go live if you so choose. Takes a second. All right. Here are my files. So I'm going to do select files. Now, I keep my video files on the desktop. That's really not the best practice. What is best is to create a folder for all your videos. Um, you can actually do, create a class folder 
or a lessons folder, you can have all of the stuff arranged. So I'll go ahead and do open and now I'm uploading the video. It's a very short video, so it won't take a lot of time. And I'm just calling it, this is test, and I'll just have, this is a demonstration. Now, one thing I wanna point out to you is that the size of your video will actually require you to make sure that when you're uploading a video that you're not using Wi-Fi, that you are using a what I call a hard line or an ethernet cable. So if you're in your office, you can, uh, all your computers should be connected via the phone, via the ethernet. But if you are working from home, just try to make sure that you have a cable that you can connect to your router to therefore make your upload as fast as possible. Um, you can do a thumbnail. I usually just try to pick whatever. Uh, one quick note, playlists. Now I have playlists for my videos, but when you're creating your channel, when you're uploading videos, I recommend that you have your playlists designated by your classes. And that way you can always upload your video to the specific class it's geared for and your students can find that particular class. Okay. No, this video is not made for kids. Um, if you're interested in that, you can look up COPPA, that is COPA. Um, that's a whole different ball game. So I'm gonna click next, and I don't have any video elements. Visibility, okay. This is a very important point. What I recommend you do is you select one of two. You can either do private, which means that your video link will be protected by a password or by the approval process. Or you can do unlisted, which means that you can just send the video link to your students and or post it on Blackboard. Either one is fine. Um, I don't have a particular preference myself, so I'm gonna just do unlisted. You can also schedule your videos. And I'm going to click save, and that will create the video. Here is my video link. It is a URL, and it is a short link, shortened link to the video itself. So I'll click on it to demonstrate to you. Hopefully it works. Um, the video, okay. So I've got the video and it does pop up. I'm going to stop screen sharing just to make sure that you can see the actual video. Because you never know, I can't necessarily see it. So I'm going to pop it up here. Okay, so here is the video, and this will be, it'll, it'll stay live for a while, um, but this is the video, and it's on my channel, and we're all good to go. Okay, I'm going to go back to my channel, just clicking the icon, and then here we are, and I can also find the video, let's see. It may take a moment to, oh, that's right. You won't be able to see it on yours because it's unlisted. So if you are making the same mistake I did, you'll want to go to your videos right here on the left-hand side. And here we go. It is unlisted. So that means that casual viewers, casual subscribers will not be able to see the video you will have to send them the link. Now, how do you send them the link? Well, you click on your video here. Up. And right here where it says share, you're going to click share and you can just click copy. And then you can just email this link to whomever you wish. So it's really cool. Cool tricks, cool tips and tricks, and all sorts of fun that you can do. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I am always happy to assist my fellow faculty. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Dr. Mims, and I appreciate you watching this video. Have a great day, and bye!